In the small, quaint town of Willowbrook, a mirror with a dark history found its way into the hands of an unsuspecting family, the Johnsons. They had recently moved into an old Victorian house, unaware of the sinister secrets hidden within its walls. The mirror, an antique with an ornate gilded frame, seemed innocent enough at first. It was positioned in the living room, reflecting the warmth of the fireplace and the coziness of the family gatherings. But as time passed, strange occurrences began to unfold. Late at night, whispers echoed through the house, the faintest of voices that seemed to originate from the mirror. Mrs. Johnson, a skeptic by nature, dismissed it as her imagination. However, her husband, Mr. Johnson, couldn't shake the feeling that there was something ominous about the mirror. One evening, as the family sat down for dinner, their young daughter, Emily, noticed a figure standing in the reflection of the mirror. It appeared hazy and indistinct, yet unmistakably human. The family turned to see if someone was behind them, but the room was empty. Fear gripped their hearts as they realized that the figure was trapped within the mirror itself. As the days passed, the figure grew more distinct and malevolent. Its haunting gaze seemed to follow the family members wherever they went. Mrs. Johnson became increasingly paranoid, convinced that the figure was out to harm them. She contacted a local paranormal investigator, Mr. Anderson, in the hopes of finding a solution. Mr. Anderson arrived at the house, armed with his knowledge of the supernatural. He examined the mirror closely, his fingers tracing the intricate patterns on the frame. Sensing a powerful presence, he warned the family to stay away from it. But the mirror seemed to hold a hypnotic power over them, drawing them closer, tempting them with its secrets. Driven by curiosity, Mr. Johnson ignored the investigator's warning and stood before the mirror one night. He stared into his own reflection, mesmerized by the dark depths of the glass. Suddenly, his reflection moved independently, its hand reaching out to touch him. Panicking, Mr. Johnson stepped back, breaking the connection. But the mirror had imprinted something sinister onto his soul. From that night on, Mr. Johnson's demeanor changed. He became withdrawn and cold, his eyes reflecting an emptiness that sent chills down his family's spines. They watched helplessly as he spiraled into madness, driven by the malevolent force. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. More contents are on the way.